Hello everybody, my name is Positive Obesity, welcome to Team Fortress 2 again. Today, I want to do something. Not different, but I just want to do something. In case you guys are wondering, yes, that this is in fact a guy gets scatter gun from Game Banana. Um, it's pretty cool. But today, I'm gonna scroll down into the graveyard that is f***ing alternative game modes. And I want to choose pastime. If you guys don't know, past time, it's a game mode developed by that robot that somebody shunts to the most unhealthiest of humans on a just 2015 grid of any Charlie Subware House, which many sure in any regard, past time was made an official game mode with a meet your mash of any on July 7th, 2016. I'm gonna play pastime for the first time. My goal here is to score at least three times. Well, three times if I'm confident. Realistically, I might just score one and end the video. In case I didn't make it blatantly clear from my camera movements, and you might just hear the button presses on the mic. I play with the uh, gyro. I play with um this L I L I C lick like. Pro controller. It's like $30. It's like a super ass, it's like a super fing generic controller. I, I use this as my PC controller. I'm not good with mouse and keyboard, nor am I good with sticks, which I want to do a video where I, where I try to play TF2 with sticks. I think, hope, I think that would be a really fun time. Like, I'm still not good at the game, even with Jaro, but I'm way better than I was with mouse. I can actually aim and shoot a lot more better, but I'm still. A fucking retard, and I still tend to not aim well. I'm not good at aiming. I don't. I don't play shooter games. I, the only game, the only shooter game I play is this game because it's fun, and I like the art style, and I like everything about it. And plus, I technically grew up on this, because you know Gmod animations and all that, and I kind of watched all the all the updates happen in real time. And I would remember, I would be so sad, I wouldn't be able to play it. This mode has been completely forgotten about, and it's getting a red resurgence in players. So I want to do a video where I. Play for the first time you know i keep forgetting that there's sentries over there i got i want to i want to tell you guys about something that happened yesterday because okay at the time when i'm filming this which is the third of february during a saturday i was playing on um on a community server that i found on teamwork.tf which is basically like a modernized website um search thing for community servers because let's be honest this is older than f***ing the assassination of Abraham Lincoln all right and um I found out that they had Saxon Hale on there in the community game mode um section you know I thought it'd be real cool to join one of the servers I joined the most populated one and oh my god was it the Funniest experience in my TF2 life. Okay, so I'm gonna try to not, I'm I'm gonna try to explain everything as much as I possibly can without it sounding like shit. my audio is broken. This is relaxing. And we had this guy. His name was like professional, right? This motherfucker was genuinely out of his mind. Nope, nope, nope. God damn it. Let me get the first thing out of the way. He was he was chaotic. He talked insane. He gave no f It was it was like reliving like old f***ing Black Ops 2 lobbies, all right? But then he started a he started a conversation that I'm convinced was the it was literally the beginning of the end, right? Uh, I'm going to try to find the nearest speed boost. E Yo, can someone destroy that sentry? He started a conversation by talking about how he wanted to vigorously f the life out of the Lego Kitty from the Lego Kitty movie. And then we started a conversation about how that would work. But I'm not even gonna get into that. That's like not, that's like not YouTube friendly. I tried. And then the next thing that the whole lobby started joining in because it was like a really talkative uh, VC, right? And we all started talking about 
cartoon characters that we would so that was funny as hell because he said some wild things like he said um rouge the bat he also said who's the character from my little pony speaking of my little ponies we also had a discussion about bronies about talking about how much we missed bronies which is pretty insane because we were talking about like classic internet at the same time so we were like oh bro i miss when bronies were around because now nowadays we make fun of furries but back then we used to make fun of bronies or whatever and then we started talking and then he started talking about um his favorite types of corn which lasted 10 minutes and i counted on like my on like a like a piece of paper and a pencil i threw away that piece of paper and pencil so i can't really show you but i counted because he started listing off all of his favorite porn categories right bro the sh that he said there it genuinely like terrified me because no one should know that amount of porn i remember if i counted correctly it was like 56 categories of porn they listed off and some of them were genuinely some of the most mind-boggling things I've ever heard in my existence. I want to see if I can be a spy. I want to see if that works. Or not! You know, that's real great! I, okay, so I'm going to try to list off some of the things that he said beforehand because some of this shit is out of this planet, dude. He said absorption, excessive semen, kidnapping, terrified, recently adult, dinosaurs, horses, monkeys, Hasbin Hotel, Snake, Two Penises, Three Penises. We also had a Frieza Impressionist who would take over the mind of whoever was playing Saxton, right? And, you know, he would tell him these funny comments. Like, he'd be like, um, ah, uh, Sa- uh, I'm not gonna do a Saxton. I'm not gonna do a Frieza Impression. It was-, it was God damn it. I thought I could run away. That scout doesn't have a head. It was it was just insane. We all in uh, the entire lobby also didn't really care. So we were all the they all had like this the, the army, like the like the tank e taunt where they were just driving around in tanks. And there was this soldier who tried doing like a broom flying taunt. I don't know what it is, but the model wouldn't load, so it looked like he was just fing farting fire. That's that and he was you know moving by it. It was it was honestly the most chaotic server I've ever been in. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is fair. It was some real funny shit, man. But that's besides the point. The point is that I want to try to at least score a goal. And if I'm confident enough, I might score three. But the problem is I need to get that jack. Where's the jack? Oh, God. I keep look. I keep forgetting that on the bottom, there's the jack meter and all that. There's like the... It's like a... Like a trip... What? One of these, it's like a, like a, like a, like a Mario, like a new Super Mario Bros. map thing. Like, I'm not, the, I'm not the greatest commentator, all right? I don't, I don't do these videos for the money. Like, I know, like, a lot of people do, and yeah, it would be cool to earn the money. But the thing is, I just like creation. You know, I, I don't know about you guys, but when I make videos, and I edit through all of them, and I do everything about that, right? I get this insane, like, dopamine rush that's like, holy sh**, I made a video, I finished a video, oh my god. Damn, we are not scoring a single point. It, it, I am, like, I remember one of the most, it's like the most satisfying feeling ever when, like, you complete a video after, like, a long, long period of editing. It's, like, the most satisfying thing on the planet, and then the next day you're gonna be like, Oh man, it's so cringy. I should have done that better. Okay, I gotta score this. I'm not gonna get ran over by a train. Okay, here we go. Let's go! Beautiful score. It is an epic. Pretty straightforward, but still. Nice. But yeah, I, I get this. Like, I like creation. Oh. No, 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 you don't. Nice try. I'm gonna go the, I'm gonna go the way I did beforehand. Nope. Nope, you guys don't see me. You see, I'm actually a god at everything. I'm, I am, I'm better. Okay. Coach! <laughs> yes, sir! 
Yes, sir! I'm loud. I mean, I've been doing it. I've been uh, working at this for 10 years. I have like four other channels that I will not name. And I hope you guys don't find were because like I okay look I've always I remember was since I was like seven years old I decided that I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life even though I know the stresses of YouTube you know oh god damn it guys help get this get this mother out of here damn no. I don't know. I forgot which way I'm supposed to go. I know I'm being targeted right now. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. Oh, sh. No, no. God damn it. I heard the noise. Uh, hi, YouTube. This is such an underrated game move, by the way. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Um, in the. Uh, because I'm filming a video that's all about pastime, right? And, um. I was even holding the fucking voice command button. I was trying to say that, yeah, I'm filming this video because, um, ah, oh, yeah, because like this mode is super underrated and I'm, I'm actually trying it out for the first time for my channel. And it, it's pretty fun, dude. Yeah. I just wish it got supported more. Oh, you think there's a light? Busted no light. Active, uh, I wasn't called side events. On third party stuff, so like, no one knows about it. Yeah, I was, I was explaining in the beginning that this is in the very bottom of the um, alternative game modes. And, you know, it's at the very bottom, so like literally no one knows this exists. I just hope this video blows up so this mode gets more attention. Me too. Hold on, I want to be very unintelligent in my next specific actions, which involve changing my primary to an objectively worse primary that will only make me worse at this game than I already am. I think YouTube is fun. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, what I was trying to say. Ah, oh, I love, I love content. I love creating, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be professional or anything. I mean, like, okay, look, I'm about to start. I'm a, I'm about to get I'm about to get real. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna editor uh, Santino pasta whatever the f put in, put on some like music during this gameplay because this shit is about to get real. Okay, I've been doing this for ten years at this point. I have four channels from like ten years ago, almost no actually eleven years ago. That I hope you guys don't find because I want to do a video where I search these channels up and I react to my to the oldest content I have, right? And, you know, one day I was sort of thinking to myself that like, yo, I I kind of dedicated my life to this and I and I've even gotten a single penny off this yet because I'm passionate. I mean, um, I'm very passionate about this. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of doing it at the technically the worst time possible considering that you can't really grow organically on YouTube anymore because of how uh, TikTok, it basically changed the game. You can't just grow organically anymore, you know what I mean? Like, you, you always have to have certain different platforms and um, you basically got to be on your ass every single day. You can't just have like a, like a normal video anymore. There always has to be hyperactive edits and all this sh I'm waiting for someone to come back here so I can... No, or not. Okay, I got a trophy and that sucks man because like I like I don't I know I know for a fact I'm not gonna blow up like this where I just make normal content on YouTube and you know, my goal isn't necessarily to blow up My goal is to have fun. I mean like I'm having like YouTube despite how long editing is and despite the many um, age restriction stuff and demonetization stuff, especially with creators back then and how strict that was. You know, I just, you know, I find YouTube fun. I mean, like, I do plan to make money off this because I, I do want to do this full time. And, and re but I know realistically that's not going to happen. Now, I'm still a sophomore in high school at the end of the day. I got to keep up with my education. I got to keep up with my education. Which, by the way, despite how much sh we all talk about it, and despite what we say, we have to acknowledge here that education is important. Don't get the don't get the bad idea to just drop out of all education and be like a drop shipper or something dumb like that. That's that's a really bad idea. This yeah, I know it's I know school is toxic and school is all this bullcrap, right? I know it. I'm not even gonna pretend 
that school is perfect and is in, in not a good place. It's it's objectively not. No, there's always like there's wannabe gangster Edgars, there's constant dramas, there's school shootings. You know, there's all this shit, right? And that's mainly an American problem, but there's also like bullying and like insecure people in like you see all these other kids and they make you insecure or whatever, and you, like no friends or you know, stuff like that. I get that, but you gotta undermine you I mean you can't just say a uh, school is hell on earth and um, we should all drop out and just buy for the rest of our lives. Realistically, we simply can. And, you know, remember, school is important. I do not get the idea that school is useless and that, um, we should choose to go to school. That's f***ing dumb. We need doctors, we need police officers, we need coders, we need all this stuff, and school teaches us that. This is not about school, this is about me. You know, I do plan to make money off this one day, and I do want to do this full time, but I gotta be realistic here. It's most likely, I'm most likely not. You know, I had some great advice from my dad in my middle school, um, counselor. I forgot his name, which made me really sad, because he did change my life for the better. He said that one day the internet will go out, or your YouTube will never succeed, and... You know, if you go to college, you know, do your do your thing, that's always a backup plan. So, I was like, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Cause you know, you always see these YouTubers that are like, um, what is it? That are like, oh, um, when I did YouTube, I started uh, making videos and then they blew up. So I decided to drop out of college and do YouTube full time. And look at me, I'm a fucking millionaire. And I'm living in a big mansion. I got a wife and kids. Like, or whatever. Like the classic YouTube story. And, um... No, that's good for them, but nowadays you simply just can't do that. And that sucks, because that kind of painted a picture in everyone that YouTube is the easiest job ever, and you could just make videos and make money, and you can do this and that, and it's super simple, and it takes literally no effort. And arguably to this day, yeah, I mean, like, there's still cases of YouTubers growing organically by their own terms, and, like, and exclusively on YouTube, like, um, Jack's, like, Kadikaris. I don't know if Kadikaris blew up on any other platform beforehand and another person also grows very slowly but very nicely on youtube only and exclusively on youtube um with the help of a uh, at the fnf community his name is caesar fever he's a small youtuber hell i i first subscribed to when that motherfucker barely had a thousand subscribers i'm not kidding barely a thousand subscribers he grew organically purely on youtube through youtube live streaming and playing fnf mods which was like the big thing at the time mind you this was like february 2021 Right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something cool for a sec. Yeah. Never mind, thought that would work. What's the jack? Damn, like it's still possible to grow organically on YouTube, and he has the most passionate fan base I've ever seen, and I'm part of that fan base. And you know, it, it's still cool that you can still grow organically on YouTube. I, I want to do that. I want to just, you know, just do whatever I want on YouTube because, okay, I'm going to be honest, I don't want to be like this big YouTuber or nothing. I don't want to be a professional, like a big, like a big uh, figure. My God, this lag is terrible. I guess you could say influencer. I don't want to be an influencer. It just, it just seems like so much work and so much, um, um, stress realistically you know i've always i i said my i said this to myself that i just want to be you know i just want to be like this some kid or whatever who just made content just because and also made some money in the meantime like obviously in the future i can't keep doing this forever obviously i'm gonna have ambitions i'm gonna look at the business side of everything more especially nowadays you need as much money as you can get to even live in a fucking apartment thanks the United States. But I don't need to worry about that right now. I mean, like, I technically do. I, I'm 16. Oh, I'm gonna try to get this jack. Nope. Nope. I don't know why I'm playing as heavy in pastime. No, no, um. Yo, who did that? Is that like, I don't want to be like this really big figure because I don't think I can, ha like, I would, I would like to, but, but the problem is I wouldn't like to at the same time because I don't want, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have a, I have mental, I have mental illness and autism Five, and three, you know, sometimes that one, it kind of gets in the way of trying to exist peacefully. And I don't know, I don't know how I would handle constant attention and like consistent online harassment and 
um, people posting my stuff and no, I wouldn't mind about that. I'm talking about like the like the general thing that influencers have problems with. Like they get like people visit their house, they get dogs, they get like they get like porn. especially nowadays with AI porn and everything. Like because realistically, given how I usually react to stuff that happens to me, I either forget about it or I think it's like the funny sh ever. Which by the way, um, I want to call that coping mechanism. It's just who I am. I don't. I grew up in an era where you you can't take nothing seriously. So I kind of have that mindset about everything. But at the same time, not everyone likes to be constantly harassed on the internet. I mean, like I have beforehand been harassed on the internet i handle it pretty well all i do is that i i just talk shit back and they get annoyed but you know i don't want to be this big popular figure really like i just want to do youtube for the hell of it i just want to make content for the hell of it i do have dreams i do have i obviously have dreams for the future of my channel but like so far those are way out of my league right now i'm talking so far ahead you know i kind of just want to do my own thing i guess i'm like you know i've like ever since i was seven i've been inspired by a bunch of youtubers at the time specifically smosh and hold on masabi productions you need to appease these impatient ass gen alpha and soon to be gen beta people with shorts and all that. And I don't want to do that because then I'm just like everyone else. And I know that sounds bad because I'll sound like, oh, I, I just want to be like every, I want to be unique. I want to be special and blah, blah, blah. I'm the best. Like that's some narcissistic attitude. You know, you, you don't really get content like this anymore. And you no, know, it's always good. And it's always great to be inspired by things. I guess. No, I would honestly say that the most fun I have in my life is making YouTube videos because when I'm making YouTube videos, you know, my family tends to leave me alone and, you know, they don't have to do a bunch of stuff and I usually film alone and such. I'm allowed to be myself. I mean, like, I, I'm not necessarily your 2024 type content creator where you're like, where I'm like constantly screaming and uh, captions at the bottom like, oh my god, guys. I cannot believe I'm playing Pastime, Team Fortress 2, in 2024. Like, no, come on, dude. Like, I hate that shit because it's not genuine. The best parts about a content creator, in my personal opinion, is the genuine passion of, like, honest to God content creators. F I had that. God damn it. I've always been fascinated with content creators who just be themselves and they're and they're vulnerable and they can talk about things because that's what makes more, them more memorable instead of just like a spokesperson or like a character that they play. That's like content creators like um, Markiplier. They're very real and he opens up to his audience sometimes. You know, I find that so heartwarming and welcoming because it because it allows the audience to have connections with content creators and have people who genuinely care about them like i'm not looking for people to just care about me it would be nice i mean yeah i, I occasionally do have like the occasional like over like insensitive confidence boost where i say like i'm better than everyone and you know i have i do say some screwed up stuff that i do regret but you know we're all humans we all make mistakes That was cool. Yo, I'm taking a lot of fall damage. <laughs> this is not great. I'm, I'm focusing here. <laughs> God damn it, why is there an engineer there? Come on. I saw that and I, and I panicked. Uh, these, anim these running animations are so goofy. <laughs> we live in an era of YouTube where everything has to be constant simuli constant addiction you know it's pr it's pretty fun to just chill you know you sit back and you know you just listen to someone talk or play a game and you know you might relate to them you might you might like oh my god this guy is so true or whatever damn you know there's this content creator out there that i really like and what and why i'm having like this conversational type commentary is inspired by his name is called Casual TF2, and he made a video talk about how TF2 is changing. And you know, that's one—that's actually one of my favorite videos on the internet. I, unironically, because it feels like you're having a conversation with someone that isn't. Goddamn it! You know that isn't 
like super over edited or like super loud or over complex or anything. It's just a genuine talk about EF2. You can tell that he didn't write a script or anything. It's just a guy wanting to talk about TF2. And right now, I just, you know, this was originally just me talk, playing pastime and people asking, you know, just me playing past my first experience. And honestly, I was going to make this video like this over, over edited, hyperactive type video, right? You know, it evolved into this. And I think that's the, that's the beauty of content creation is that you can have it to be anywhere you, you can have it to be anything you want. Yeah, the people might not like it. The algorithm might hate it, but you know, when you're in charge of your own rules and your own sort of content, you get stuff like this where you can just relax and be real. I want to do more videos like these where I just play a mode or play a game and I can just be myself. You know, I, I, I don't want to be this character where I'm super hyperactive with over insanitary editing. I don't want to be, I guess you could say, a modern generation content creator because I don't find them funny. I don't find them cool. They can be funny and cool if the jokes are funny and cool. They tend to just put like Among Us and shit like that, like, or like stupid unfunny jokes. And I'm guilty of that. I want to do a combination where it's funny edits, but at the same time, there's also moments where you can, where the audience can just listen to me. That sounds very narcissistic, sorry. And just, you know, have a good time, you know? I don't want to be a modern day content creator. I want, like, it would nice, it would like, I, I would like to be a modern day content creator if I have, if I was, had that, like, uh, like, I don't want to be like the next Kai that or, but, you know, enough of me trying to get real or anything. Um, if you listen through this conversation, um, thank you. Please let me know if you want more videos like this where I can just be more real. But realistically, yeah, I'm going to do it because, yeah, the audience might not like it, but I do. And if you don't like it, you know, that's cool with me. I'll, I'll make these videos more variety oriented, I guess. And, I mean, you got to appease the algorithm in the YouTubes in the audience somehow. I mean, like... Right, here we go, last, last, last score of the video. Let's go! Let's, let's go! Oh my god, that was so satisfying.